And when we think about 3D modeling, what comes to mind is the polygonal means of making 3D models. This is due to the availability and acceptance of modeling tools that support this. Although this is not the only form of modeling technique that exists. Another form of modeling which has been proven to be fun but not so talked about is the SDF modeling. SDF which simply means the sine distance field is a mathematical function which takes a position as an input and outputs the distance from that position to the nearest part of the shape. And this form of modeling is one of the coolest, relaxing and satisfying kind of modeling. And for those who are thinking about making SDF model and would want to do this in any platform with any device, then Womp 3D is the tool that you've been looking for. This alpha tool allows 3D artists to create models using the SDF modeling technique with any device at any time. And once you're done making your 3D models, you can export them as polygonal models to any DCC apps or for 3D printing. And if you want to learn more about how you can win amazing prizes with your 3D art skills, then you can simply watch this video to the end to learn more about this new 3D tool and a free design contest. And to get started with Womp, you need to go over to womp3d.com, create an account, and once you create an account and log in, this brings you over to the discover page where you can discover some art that creators have made. You can choose to join any of the chat that exists here or you can proceed to check out the projects that you've done. And if you'd like to create a brand new project, all you need to do is to click on the new files section which loads up a default scene and you can start creating your 3D models from here. By default, once this opens up, you get to find a gigantic viewport which you can navigate by simply using your left mouse button to orbit, your right mouse button to pan, and your middle mouse button to zoom in and out. Right over here, you get to find the outliner. From this section is where you can use or bring in new primitive or import shared models from the community. You can also choose to play with the lighting from this section. Right here deals with the backdrop, so just in case you would like to change the backdrop, you can click on any of these and change the backdrop if you want. Right here deals with the materials that exist and all of these materials are coming from the community which you can also work with and finally we do have certain functions which we're going to talk about as we proceed. In terms of properties, once you select any of these primitives you would notice that properties just simply pop up right here. And in terms of how you see things within the viewport you can either choose to stay in the perspective mode or on the orthographic mode. And if you're within the orthographic mode and you like to see individual orthographic views you can use the view cube widget to orbit around the model and select whatever view that you want. But we're going to set this back to perspective as we would like to create our model in perspective. One 3 d uses a boolean technique to allow you create models faster. Something else which you would notice on the viewport is this renders in real time. So once you let go of the mouse, automatically that renders. So you don't need to wait for rendering times and that is super cool. If you click on any of these objects, you can choose to duplicate them, set the boolean property type that you want. So in case you want this to be a negative boolean, you can set that. If you want it to be a positive one, you can also choose to set it. And with this set, let's go ahead and create our very first model. So I'm going to click on this drop down and simply delete everything. Click to create a brand new shape and you can change the shape however you want from here. If you want to get a sphere, a cylinder or a cube, you can simply do that. Let's set this as a sphere and hold down Alt on the keyboard, click and drag to make a copy. Of course, you can simply click right here and also make a duplicate if you want, but we're going to use the shot key, which is pretty fast. Set this to become a cylinder and I'm just going to go ahead and scale this a bit smaller. And how you get to scale things here is a little bit interesting as right here in the middle, you can scale this all the way down and from here you can use this to scale things upwards and downwards. If you like to transform, you can also transform this all the way down. And because WOMTree uses an SDF method of modeling, you can use the group strength to play with what the final shape looks like in terms of intersection. You can move this all the way up, move it down, but we're just going to set this the way it is. Next thing, make another copy, hold on Alt on the keyboard, click on the direction that you want and I'm just going to go ahead and click and drag. I'm dropping the group strength all the way down and I would also proceed to move this right here but this time we're going to set this to negative. And once we set this to negative, we can position this where we want, raise this all the way up and scale this even smaller. Let's take a look at this from our orthographic view, take a look at it from the top. Make sure that we have the position where we want it to be and we can now scale. So let's just go through and scale this a little bit upwards. Select the model, which is these are the base that we have here. And I might just turn down the group a little bit. Let's also turn this down just about a point like this. And in no time, we have just created a vase. You want to texture this vase? It's very simple. Select any of the parts of the model that you want. Go over here and you notice that you have the material set to unsaved. You can choose to make changes to this material however you want. Say maybe you want to have some roughness, no roughness, you know, whatever you want. 
But if you want to use some predefined materials, you can always go over to this material section, select on any of the material and click on add and use. Automatically that gets added and you can start using it. And we can go over to another one, click on the material section, scroll all the way down, and we can also click on add and use. And once you do that right now, you now have a vase. And the same thing can be said about creating other objects. So in this case, we're creating a simple spider and we're using the very basic techniques that we've just talked about. Make a copy and then you can boolean certain parts in and out and we can start putting the eyes and the same thing goes for the legs. The legs, we're just going ahead to use the cylinder and we can add a little bit of goop and make copies across the left and the right side. You can make adjustments to your model anytime and however you choose. And this is just super interesting for those who like to create cute characters or maybe you just want to create characters rapidly on your mobile device or on the desktop. So with that said, let's get back into our vase and start creating some more interesting things with it. And with our vase right here, we can choose to make more booleans. We can drop in a cube, scale the cube, and we can boolean this to get a very interesting result. Furthermore, if you like to convert this to become a character, there is even some more interesting things that we can do. We can create a brand new sphere. We can position the sphere where we want. And we're just going to select the vase, select every other thing that is part of the properties of the vase and set them to union. And once we union this, these now get saved as a group, which you can now proceed to name. Let's make another copy of the sphere and we're going to position this all the way to the top. And this is going to serve as the eye. We'll would also go ahead and create a brand new shape and we're going to set that shape to become a cylinder. So because we haven't talked about the rotation, how you rotate right here is pretty easy. If you hold down shift, you can lock the rotation by every 45 degrees. So we can lock this right here, right here. And we have that. Select the object and we can choose to scale. So I'm just going to go over to the purple section and scale this a little bit like so and potentially scale this a little bit like this. Now with that cylinder there, we would set this to become a boolean, which will be subtractive. So now we're beginning to make those tires. Let's make copies of this boolean tool and we're going to set them to the side and we're also going to do the very same thing for the eye. Now, once we have this going, the creative idea for me is to sort of create particles coming out of the vase. Now we're just going to create a brand new sphere, take that all the way up, reshape that and position this in a very interesting way to sort of give the idea that particles are coming out. Now with this ready, we can now do whatever we want to do with this 3D model. If you would like to texture it, of course you can, you can add the texture in that you want. If you like to play with the lighting, you can also do that. So now that we have a model here, for those who want to export this, you can literally export the entire thing. And how you can do that is very simple. All you need to do is click on the share button, go all the way to where you have the download 3D model, and you can download this as OBJ, PLY, and STL. 3DS is supposed to be coming once this tool gets finally released. And I would love to see FBX and GLB or the GLTF file format added to this. At the same time, you can click on share link and share this link and you can also publish this to the WOM community if you want. More so, if you like to download this as images, if you click on the download image section, you get a set of image sizes that you can download. Right here, we have the standard sizes, which goes from 4K, 2K, Full HD and HD. And right here, we do have the social media download file sizes, which deals with the Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and also Instagram. And it is pretty easy to send to Pinterest because there's a button here that just simply send you to Pinterest once you click on this button. And if you're also thinking about publishing to the WOM community, you can also click on the publish button, put a couple of description, put the name, put the hashtags, and you can publish to the WOM community as well. And if you're a 3D artist that always like working with reference images, of course, you can also bring in reference images into WOM. And how you can do that is simply by dragging the image right in here. So we can go through, click and drag and drop this image right here. And you can see that automatically or you can simply click on the replace reference image and this pops up go over to where you have the image that you like to work with click and open that image in this image does have an opacity slider which you can use to play with your opacity and at the same time you can scale this image however you want to fit into your viewport and also reposition this if you like this to be positioned at a specific place within your viewport WAMP also has a recording section, which you can use to record your viewport. So if you click on this button, this counts down from five all the way to one, and you can record your entire viewport. You can record as much as light changes. So we can make some changes to lighting and this starts recording. And once we have what we want, if you like to rotate the model around, or maybe you like to move some parts and you want those parts to get recorded, 
of course you can do that so just simply move the parts that you want and automatically this records it so we can also select that move it to this point and this automatically records it if you're done simply click on this button and that stops the recording and you get to see a low quality preview version which you can use to determine if you're comfortable with the final result that you're going to be getting once you're comfortable with that you can proceed to download and download the full hd version but if you're not you can go ahead and click anywhere outside this and delete that recording so this is more like it for those who like to take a look at womp you want to test it play with it do some amazing things with it womp 3d is now here and it's available for you to start creating some amazing things for free across any device that you have and currently they're hosting a huge contest as part of their launch this month and you can participate and win some amazing prizes like a macbook pro an ipad air and so on links to all of this is going to be in the description so do well to check it out Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And I'd like to see you guys in the next one. Peace.